Hello, how's everyone doing out there? Uh, just a quick video uh, about my backup PC. Uh, I recently installed a Ryzen 7 3700X 8-core Ryzen CPU. It did have a 3600X in it. And, and it had the little stealth uh, cooler on it, stock cooler on it. And while temperatures wasn't bad or anything... Uh, I wanted to enable PBO and have a quiet, cool system. And I happen to have this Noctua NHD15 from a previous build. I considered looking at a 240mm uh, Arctic freezer. But I thought, ah, why spend the money? I just I have this D15 it's sitting in a box. I might as well use it. But uh, right off the bat, with this Corsair 220T... It is a small case. Corsair says it's about 35% smaller than your average ATX mid-tower. And I believe them. Uh, but I also, I really like its small footprint. It's a compact, compact case. Not a lot of room. Uh, but you're not going to end up with huge areas of dead space. This RX 6600 is a tiny card. Yet it comes to here. Uh, if you had a bigger card, most of the RTX cards and uh, Radeon 6700s, they fit in here, but really snugly. So, uh, my thoughts were, will the D15 even fit in this case? And, you can come to the side here a little bit. It is very close here. But, it does fit at the end of the day, with some caveats here. If you look to the right here... These are uh, PNY Accelerate DDR4 non-RGB. They're not a tall RAM module. And you can see here, we do have plenty of room between the fin stack of the cooler and the RAM. So that's not a problem itself. However, when we put the 140 millimeter Chromax fan in there, it bumps the back of the RAM and then sticks out just a smidge too much. The same with the rear. With the rear I.O. heat shield and all that. Same thing. Sticks out just a smidge. I was able to get the center fan in there. Back enough to close the top. And the, and the covers on the cooler. It all fits in there. And the temperatures are great. Uh, I think this, this particular fan goes from like 800 to 1500 RPMs. At 800 RPMs. Uh, without the the low noise cable, the temperatures are great on the 3700X. Uh, I considered, like I said, going AIO, but again, I had these parts on hand. So, the 220T, yes, it is a small, compact case, but I really like it for that. Aesthetically, I don't like a large case with a lot of a lot of dead space empty space you know you see it a lot uh this rx 6600 is a tiny card from power color yet it, it takes up a a good piece of the case uh so there's not a lot of dead space in the case but it has good airflow up front and you can put some fans up top so if you were curious will the d15 fit in the corsair 220t Yes, it will, with some caveats. Uh, again, also, I did have this cooler I considered using, but I opted not to. And in that is the Corsair A500. This cooler got pretty much blasted on reviews. So, months, months down the line. And they did do a revision, I'm told, on the cold plate. To make it more level and, and better uh, refined. This was on sale on Newegg for $39. You got two maglev fans. They are 120 millimeter fans. And the cooler for $39. I thought even if I just used the fans at some point. That's a good buy. I considered putting it in here. Uh, but I have used the A500 before. And to be honest with you, the 120 millimeter fans, they have to ramp at a higher RPM to compete 
with the slower, lower RPM 140s. So, you know, uh, there's that. I mean, maybe if you were going for a Corsair-themed build, because it does look nice, the end cap, the brushed aluminum there, it's a nice-looking cooler. And I, and I believe it would have fit uh, a little better in this case. Who knows, maybe down the line I'll throw it in for a weekend, do some testing just to try it out. But as of right now, that's where she stands with the backup. Just a rundown, 3700X, Aorus B450, uh, 32 gigabytes at 3600, and uh, Power Color Radeon RX 6600, and uh, 750 watt EVGA. Uh, semi-modular power supply anyway guys that's it uh, if you're going to use the d15 in the little 220t just be aware of the clearance issues uh, you may have low profile ram and you may be able to get that front one back uh, enough but also be aware a lot of motherboards now come with these big heat sinks you know on the back and a lot of the the rgb and all that on the motherboard io so also be aware of that anyway just a quick little rambling video sorry i kind of went on a few changes there but anyway guys y'all take care